for anyone who is in your district or just in general who feels like, what can I do or I don't know what to do? What would you want to say to those individuals who have a want to be a more proactive, more engaged part of the process, but they just don't know where to start? What would you want to say to those individuals? Well, I have to think about my good friend and mentor, uh, Congressman John Lewis, at, at that question. And he used to talk about how, the, how important the vote is, that it's almost sacred. And so, you know, people need to take that guidance uh, to heart, understand that uh, if we want to make change, we've got to vote. And we've got to vote in our interest. We don't need to vote against our interest. And so we need to be educated voting. We need to understand that it is the Republicans who have installed this United States Supreme Court, which is taking away the rights that the legislative branch doesn't have the power to do. Uh, but certainly this Supreme Court has the power to do and is doing it. And so if you want to change the Supreme Court, you've got to change the, um, the you've got to make sure that we maintain the Senate in democratic hands. And so we have two democratic senators from Georgia Everyone needs to be registered and everybody needs to get out and vote for those two Democrats. The next time one of them will come up will be 2026 when John Ossoff comes up for reelection. And we'll need to be ready to vote uh, for him. Uh, we also need to uh, uh, make sure that we go out and vote for a president who will nominate justices like Katanji Brown Jackson the first black female uh, appointed to serve on the United States Supreme Court and she is serving with distinction. We could use eight more justices with the power of her intellect uh, and experience coming onto that bench and the heart for justice that she has. Um, and so if you, so it's important in 2024 that people get out and go vote.